Hey everyone, Ronan here. We're going to be checking out some more Trigun Stampede. We're on episode 5. And I'm kind of wondering at this point how quickly things are going to unravel uh, with Wolfwood and, and the gang, basically. Like, when is his secret going to come out? It's uh, it's kind of an interesting twist that they already kind of have him indoctrinated into the gung-ho guns. So, um, so, so far I'm, I'm enjoying the, the little differences, the little twists, you know, from the, from the comments from the earlier videos, I'm um, just not realizing that the manga has kind of like, it is different than even, uh, I think the, even the original anime, this version has elements of, of the manga and the old anime. And so it's kind of its own thing. So now we have like three different versions of this story. Um, I haven't read the manga, so I'm going to. Be making comments based off of me not knowing what happens in that so it's just purely based off of what i've seen in the previous anime so but we're gonna go ahead and dive on into this guys feel free to check out my patreon uh we do have the full reactions over there and they're gonna be more of like watch alongs and i currently have my samurai champloo reaction up as well already so um and that's gonna be coming out here pretty soon um from the time of this filming so we're gonna go ahead and dive on into this Uh, so I'm guessing the ship that Vash and Nails came from is they're referring to as the Ark. Not sure if I remember any uh, religious aspects of, um, you know, the society on on this planet. So I wonder then if I if you know they if they are aware of if like Vash and Nails came from the Ark, assuming I got the idea correctly. And I, I wonder if they then look at them as like higher beings. I mean, they probably technically are, you know higher beings or like more evolved or however you want to look at them but i just wonder how they view them like a regular person to them you know are they seen as gods ah plant worshippers <laughs> I wonder who that could have been. <laughs> Is she gonna hit something else? Millions I mean, that could be, that could be Vash's old home in space. I really like the designs of each of these towns that are kind of like based off of whatever technology was left over from the, from the crashes. I'm sure like the, all these ships broke up and fell down and there's just pieces everywhere and people were able to salvage them. Oh shit. I kind of had a feeling it was this guy, but I also kind of, I kind of don't remember his name. I do remember him from the, the original anime though. I think this is like the first guy that appeared in the original anime. <laughs> he looks pretty awesome here though. I mean, Wolfwood's selling this pretty good. Oh, that's a really cool looking, looking view. I was gonna say Wolfwood was selling his cover pretty good if he's also attacking these gung ho guns. Assuming this guy is officially a member as well. Run, get out of there, kid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well run out in the middle of nowhere. So even someone like this, Vash cares if they live or die. That's a pretty cool little healing trick he had. I do like that Vash can talk to Wolfwood, because Wolfwood can actually talk to him on that level. Because Vash always kind of clams up around certain people about certain subject matters, and 
Wolfwood's like the closest thing he's got to a friend where he can open up and actually talk about these sort of things. She wants to sacrifice you though. Oh, so all the, all the time we were seeing the kid. So this is all in the past? Wouldn't that be crazy if the kid was, uh, the thing Vash was fighting? You stupid bitch. It is, isn't it? It's gonna be the same guy. Jeez, they're gonna, like, turn him into Bane or something. Yeah, it's him, isn't it? Well, I did not see that coming. Yeah, I know Vash is older than he appears for sure. I don't know how old he is though. Oh, we gotta look badass now. Jeez. Oh, okay, you can actually see his face. I feel like Wolfswood is gonna kill him. Oh, what was that? Oof. I even felt like he was gonna die like that, like just a bullet from the side out of nowhere. Yeah, it looked like Rolo snapped out of her for a second. But I mean, who knows how long he would have been able to, to just be chill. Yeah, and this is the dynamic I, I've always liked between Wolfwood and Vash, is that Wolfwood is kind of more of like a realist, whereas Vash is very naive, you know, but there's times where, where Vash succeeds. In, in thinking the way that he does and being able to change people like that. The Punisher. <laughs> oh wow, now it's all lit up. That was an in interesting image there. I don't know. I mean, there's, I, th I think there's times where, uh, we can both think like either Vash or, uh, or Wolfwood, the Punisher. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I think they both have like really good points though. Cause it doesn't really look like, uh, Rolo would have had a lot of fun existing the way that he was. So I'm pretty sure that that guy was, uh, Monday of the Gale. And I'll slap a photo on the screen for, for reference. I couldn't remember his name, but I but I, I figured that was him, and he definitely had a different origin story than than what he has in here. Um, but both of them were basically, you know, made to hate Vash. You know, there's just a whole different like origin with that. We didn't really get a whole uh, lot of origin in the original um, anime for it. It was just a guy locked up in a cell or a 
you know, some place and all he did was just work out all the time and then he just hated Vash basically. So um, I kind of found that this was like a, a bit more of a potent version of, of that sort of origin story. Um, I definitely didn't see that kid growing up to be to be him and it was a very tricky, very tricky uh, cinema there with the uh, jumping back and forth through time without actually like stating such as such. Like it, I felt like it was happening at the same time. I did kind of think it was a little weird that when the kid ran out to like go hide that Vash all of a sudden was out there looking for him and I was like how would like how did you get here so that threw me off a little bit but then it made sense that it wasn't happening at this at the same time so um but yeah that was a that was pretty effective storytelling for me I, I liked that little twist there I really like what this show does to put a slight twist in things to do a slight change up and to see if they can improve on the way a certain story was told and um and so far i really like it i haven't read the manga or anything like that so i don't know if, if the manga is superior in any in any way it's interesting because with uh with meryl she mentioned the million knives gang i don't think it's quite as a cool uh, name as gung-ho guns i hope at some point we we hear that term and that's who they are um, instead of just this kind of, they're with knives, so it's called the Knives Gang. I'm not a huge fan of that. If that if that becomes a name that sticks, uh, I kind of hope that uh, that they get a, a more proper introduction. But it kind of seems like we're not going to get that because we've already kind of met a few of them already, and we haven't had this grandiose reveal of you know of all the members and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's that's two members dead. Um, though we've met, you know, already a handful of, of members already, but it, it looks like uh, it looks like we might be able to get all of them though. So that, that actually gets me excited because I think um, this is already more members of the, the gang that I thought we were gonna get. If if they have Dominique the Cyclops, that's like my favorite member. I'm looking forward to what they do with her. Um, if we don't, we don't. That's fine, I guess. But that's the one member I'm really looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to uh, Legato as well. That's going to be a really cool reveal, and I feel like they're going to do him different too, and I wonder what that's going to be like. So, but anyway, great episode, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I will see you next time.